and welcome back to not want to do that to well, hello and welcome back to my channel welcome to a brand new video for those of you who don't know me I'm still not this because it's really annoying me for those of you who don't know me my name is Amelia I upload book related content so I am a booktuber now god that sounds I don't know if that sounds weird it doesn't sound weird what I mean is it just sounds so like really weird how I'm saying it but I upload reading vlogs and read book videos basically book related content as mentioned before and if you do enjoy that content then please give it, please subscribe to this channel because i have a lot of book related content coming your way and some challenges that i'm really happy with um that i've chosen to do so i've got one that's coming up that i'm halfway through filming which is um my book my favorite booktube is choose my next read part two um I am then going to be doing a swapping my screen time um, my week off work because it's the perfect time to just do it because I feel like it's just the perfect time to do it because I won't have work in the way and my house is in the way um, and I'll explain it when I get to that video because it's a few weeks away it's not that long actually and I'm very excited for it um, but yeah so if you do enjoy this video before I get into it if you do enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up please comment down below please subscribe and please follow my social medias that are linked in the description and should possibly pop up somewhere on the video. And without further ado, let's just get on with it because I like to ramble and chat and yeah. Okay, I'm going to refilm this whole clip because the clip I just filmed, I had filmed a whole segment. It took me 20 minutes and um, it was all blurry. We love focus. Yes, let's start again. I can't even remember what I said, but I am doing my April <laughs> wrap up and my May hopefuls. I started this back in, I think, March, end of February. Um, and so I decided just to do it for each month, even if I don't read many books. Um, because I feel like I just enjoy sharing it. So, and I do, don't do TBRs because I will never stick to them, so I do hopefuls, so then maybe hopefully I will stick to them. So, I'm not going to ramble on too much because I've already spoken about it once today, and clearly my camera hates me. But, we're going to talk about the four books I, well, the three books, when I'm filming this, the three books I read in April, and the one book I'm near the end of finishing, and you're going to get my predicted rating, but you will find out the full ranking in the, maybe not the next video, possibly in the next video but a video coming up what my rating for this book will be because I am doing it for a video but I'm aiming to finish it before the end of the month which is why it's going in my wrap up makes sense so the first book I read in well it's not going in any order because I started the other book I'm still reading but a book I read and it is in my 24 hours of reading vlog so if you want to go check that out it is somewhere on my channel maybe linked in the card here I don't know but is You and Me on Vacation by Emily Henry. My favourite book of hers is Beach Read by far, but this definitely gets close to it. And I rated this a four star, which I was surprised in because the little twist of why Poppy and Alex stopped talking is very naff. Very, I don't even know how to describe it, but it just wasn't, it wasn't great. It wasn't a great, like, reason to stop talking. So I wouldn't say I absolutely loved it. However, the, that that twist. However, I loved the story within it and the book and the love story and the, like them two together and watching them grow from each chapter from the past to the present. I really enjoyed it. So this is a second chance romance kind of book, friends to lovers, and I really enjoyed it. And yeah, so I gave it a five, a, not five star, a four star ranking. Emily Henry has not made it my five star ranking yet. Maybe Happy Place will, but I can't guarantee. Um, but she did good with this book. Not as good as Beach Read, but good with this book. So, yeah. The next one I read is Scarred. This is the second one in the Dark, the Never After novel series. They do not need to be read together. They are not really. You don't need to read the first book to understand the second book. It is just an order that I picked up. You could technically read all of them in different orders and still get an understanding. Um, I read Hooked first, loved it. Read this one. 
as you can tell by the time so much I really enjoyed it I absolutely loved this book I read this one and it gave it a five star ranking as well I just absolutely loved it I was hooked on it throughout the whole story I was so eager to know what happened between Twist Tristan Sarah and Michael and I just needed to know everything and the way everything was spun I was like oh my god this is incredible this is insane they did a good job so Emily McIntyre you have me in a chokehold here loved it then I read Rip Oops. Ricochet by um, Krista and Becca Ritchie this is the second book in the Addicted to Calloway and Calloway ser Sister series um, this is how this, how this is kind of the story that's happened just after Lowe's gone to rehab um, spoiler if you haven't read the first book um, and you just get to see more of the sisters interacting with each other and I really love Daisy and Rose and I really love Ryke and Connor uh, and it was really nice to see all their kind of like different sides coming involved in the story and watching the like reading about Lily's struggles it made me feel more connected and I really enjoyed it so I gave this a four star because it definitely deserved it it was a cute story a quick and easy read what more can I say and then finally to the book that I'm, I need to drink I'm talking finally to the book that I need to finish reading for a video is coming up it is my favorite booktubers she's my next read um so spoiler that is coming up very soon i'm still on the, i'm only doing two and i'm only on the first book still from it so it might take a bit of a time but it'll be up soon um i'm like 67 percent of the way through this book and i'm really enjoying it like i didn't think i was going to but i really enjoyed it it's grumpy versus sunshine and i absolutely love it it's so cute i love Knox. I hated him at first because he was a 40 year old man who was just like acting like a child but now we've got more to the book I'm really enjoying him and his presence, um, presence in this book and I'm really enjoying it and I love Naomi and I love Naomi's niece who she's having to take care of so yeah I predict this is going to be a 4.5 star ranking it's quite long and it's a slow burn and I never used to be in slow burn romances I used to like the ones that just instantaneously happen because it's just a quick and easy read however I do like it when it's slow burns now I think it, slow burn kind of feels more realistic don't know why but I think that's the way romance is these days it doesn't just happen like that it does happen more slower so I'm really enjoying this book so 4.5 star ranking Ooh. finally we're going to talk about my May, my May hopefuls. I've got four books I'm hoping to read. I am also planning to do a swap my screen time video. My screen time for reading. It's got swap my screen time for reading video um, challenge in May. So that hopefully will get me through these books a little bit easier as well. We're going to start with the one that I am going to be doing for the video. That's upcoming my favourite book she was choose my next read because I already know the next one. And that is Daisy Hates which is the second one in the Magnolia Park series. I loved the first one. I gave it a five stars and it's not even been that long since I've read it, but you know that feeling when you just need to get more into this world? I love that kind of world. I'm a very Gossip Girl fan, like that kind of vibes my fat like life. I love that kind of rich feeling, even though I'm not a rich and I don't know why I love reading about toxic characters. But the reality is I hate toxic, I hate toxic, toxic, toxic. I hate toxicness in real life. I don't know if that's a word, but I hate I hate it in real life. However, reading about it, absolutely love it. So I can't wait to give this a read. The next one on the the hopeful list is a very chunky book. It is A Court of Mist and Fury, the second one of the, the Akatar series. I loved the first one. I actually gave it a four stars. I really miss my fantasy fix. The last fantasy book I read was Kingdom of the Curse. Loved it really can't wait for the final one but i think the reason i'm not putting it on my hopefuls is because i really just don't want to finish that series either i'm not ready for it to be over yet so yeah i want to read this one um because it is it just see i've heard so many good things about this book and i need to know what happens and why everyone likes resand more than tamlin because i really like tamlin so we need to see what's going to happen and then this one which i am definitely going to pick up for my screen time video is The Final Offer by Lauren Asher. I absolutely love Terms and Conditions and I absolutely loved find The Fine Print. So I just need to know Callahan's story now because you got a, not a lot of Cal in the second book but you got a bit more of Cal in the second book and I just think like I need to know his character. I need to read about his character and I just want it so bad. So I am very excited to read this. So I'm going to pick this one up definitely 
or I say definitely, I'm not going to hold myself to it, but I'm going to hope that I'm going to pick it up because I'm really excited because I really like this series and Laura and Asher are bringing a new one out at some point this year. I can't remember when. I can't remember what it's called. Some, I think it's Love Designed. I don't think that's it actually because that sounds a bit not right. But oh, I'm going to have to Instagram. I have to put it on my story, so hold on. Go away. Um, oh, God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I need to find out. Uh, love redesigned. I was close actually. I felt that was pretty Love redesigned and it's coming out November the 7th. And I just can't wait. So I need to read this before that. I know November's ages away, but it doesn't feel like that. So I need that. And then finally, this is. <laughs> I've had this book for ages now and it's getting to a point where it's kind of embarrassing that I haven't read it. It's the Spanish Love Deception by Elena. Um, as hopefully I will pick this up. I can't remember what I didn't what I picked up instead of this one. Beach read, I remember now. Um before. So hopefully I will pick this one up this month. Well no, next month. Well I'm a bit less well depends on when I post this video. Um will depend on when beep beep I pick this um when you see this, but I'm hoping it's up in May for sure. I I just wanna read it now. I'm I'm interested. I wanted to see what everyone was hyping about this book before because this was all over my booktok when I first started watching booktok videos so yeah but yeah so hopefully I'll read this in May but that is my May hopefuls and my April wrap up so if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up please comment down below please subscribe please comment down below maybe your favourite book of April and your one of your most hopeful books um, for May and I will see you again very soon with another video